So our first step to depin this uh, Sumitomo connector for the igniter is we need to remove this orange pin separator or this orange cover here. So to do that, you'll notice two holes on the top saw edge. One here, one there. Take a standard clothespin or any very sharp skinny object you have and give, with two of them, slide them in until it lifts the tab inside of there. Take a second one, again, slide it in the second until the tab is lifted. Now to release it, what we need to do is take a third object, I'm going to use this little push pin here, and you'll see on the tops, there's over each pin there's a little opening up there. So on each corner, take this pin, slide it in there, and using the top gray part as a lever, pull out. The same on both edges here. Pull out, and a couple times, and now you're out to release it, and you can now access the pins on the inside. All right, for this next step, we need to remove the pin from the connector itself. So to do this, you need to release the pin using, again, your clothespin <clears throat> or similar object. So you'll notice on the top here, each of these pins has a guide. There's a little guide here on top of it, holding them in place. You don't need to be concerned with those for this step. <laughs> to release the pin, underneath, in each of these chambers here, is the clip that holds the pin in place. You need to stick your clothespin in, sliding up against the pin until you get over the clip enough to pry it down. So once you're in the clip, push up, prying via the pin to pull the clip down away from the pin. While holding that, You then tug on the wire from the back, and you get your pin out. Now you'll do this for each of the wires for the connector. All right, so now that we've learned how to de-pin the connector, we need, there's going to be four pins that we need to use for our new harness and our new Sumitomo connector. <clears throat> the four pins that we need to use are black and white, light green with no stripe, brown with black stripe, and brown with no stripe. So you have two options here. You can either remove those four pins and simply fold this connector away and tuck it down. Or you can remove all the pins, and if you do that, then you should heat shrink each one of these and tuck them away and tie them out, out of, tie them down out of the way. <clears throat> so now that we've successfully depinned our igniter connector, we have our four wires. The first one is the brown, the black with white stripe. <clears throat> what this wire is, this is the power wire. This is used to trigger the relay on your new coil harness, which then will pull power directly from the battery for your new coils. This wire here will go into your new Sumitomo connector, which then connects to your harness. <clears throat> when you receive your Sumitomo connector, you'll notice that this orange pin separator sticks out. Be sure not to push it in at this step, not until we're done pinning. So with this first black wire, black and white stripe wire, we need to feed it in to the rear of the Sumitomo connector in the number three position, which is one, two, three on the top side. So coming in the back with the pin in this orientation right here, it can only go in one way. Slide it straight in until you get the click. That's your first one in. <clears throat> All right, our next pin is light green. Light green is leading one and leading two. In the OEM configuration, Mazda uses waste spark, meaning 
with a single trigger wire, they can, they'll fire both leading coils. <clears throat> so for your harness, we have it set up so that there are two trigger wires for leading one, one trigger wire for leading one, one trigger wire for leading two. Within the harness itself that you'll receive, they're bridged. So it, it actually does not matter if you pin it to the blue and white stripe or gray and white stripe wire as they're pinned in turn, they are bridged internally and this single wire will fire both leading one and leading two depending on when the ECU tells it to fire. That said, <clears throat> this need, will need to go into the Sumitomo connector into either position one or position four. Position one is here, position four is here. For this I would recommend to put it in position one. Again, insert it to the back of the connector as shown until you hear the click confirming that it's been placed in the connector. Done. The next wire is the brown wire. Brown with no stripe. The brown wire is used for trailing one. <clears throat> the trailing one corresponds to the purple with white stripe on your co new coil harness. The correct placement for brown on your new Sumitomo connector is pin number two. Pin two is on the top middle. Again, place it until you hear the click. Done. <clears throat> the final wire is brown with black stripe. Be careful here because the black stripe is difficult to see. <clears throat> so it, you could have a dirty wire and it might be hard so you got to clean them off so you can make sure you get the right wire here. So this wire corresponds to trailing number two. Trailing two on your new harness corresponds to the black wire with green stripe. <clears throat> this will go into position five. Position five from the front is on the bottom row in the center. So to place this in, put it in until you hear, in this orientation, until you hear the click. Now that you have all four wires pinned into your Sumitomo connector, <clears throat> you need to install the two plugs to make this completely watertight in the open spots. One there, and one there, and then you push them all the way in until they're flush. Like so. All right, now finally, once we have all four pins installed, to complete the installation, you simply press that in until it clicks, and you're now done pinning your new Sumitomo connector. <clears throat>